Good morning from my very first capsule hotel in Japan. The ladders are so hard to climb up. I feel like there are a lot of people who would not be able to get into their room. <laughs> uh, there is no lock on that door. Um, yeah. uh, so, I am in the hotel capsule in Kobe. Uh, this is my first capsule hotel and it is awesome um, there's a TV what do we have we have a mirror nice Hello. Uh, a fan with some very nice cool air coming in that's been wonderful um, here's the control panel it is 10 um, I already went downstairs or upstairs to have the complimentary breakfast which runs from 6 to 10. It was fantastic. So good. Um, I also uh, used the sauna. Um, this hotel is famous for its spa. It has really good sauna and really good hot spring baths. The sauna was maybe the hottest sauna I've ever been in. Um, unbelievable. <laughs> um, here's the layout of the place. I am in room 50, 90, 5090. This place came stocked with um, some earplugs, which I should have used because there were some snorers last night, <laughs> and it also came with some complimentary water. Uh, yeah. Well, I didn't know what to expect from a capsule hotel. This was awesome. Um, it was a lot nicer than I could have imagined. Um, I think people often joke that a capsule hotel would be really small and too small for a tall foreigner. That is not the case. Um, so, with my head in a comfortable position. very spacious place so uh, awesome thumbs up on this um, there, there are uh, a couple really interesting things about this place um, first there's no lock on the door on the door so uh, there's no lock but that's not really an issue um, there are video cameras in the hallway, so I think this is quite a safe place. Um, another thing is that uh, you cannot wear your own clothes in here. Um, when you check in, they tell you to go into the locker room. Uh, they give you a key. Uh, you find your locker and you put all your luggage in there. And you strip down, you put all your clothes in the locker and then in the locker room are these shorts. Uh, so you put the shorts on, there's no shirt. In the locker room, no shirt. So you just have shorts on, topless. Um, actually, after I got changed, I went to the front desk to ask the lady a question, and I went there shirtless, nipples exposed. I used the bathroom in the lobby, shirtless. <laughs> Um, yeah, but that's how it is. Um, I got this shirt, uh, in the, um, spa area. So after you go into the spa, you can get a shirt if you want. You can walk around this place without a shirt. It's, it's fine. Um, though I think for breakfast, uh, they want you to wear a shirt. So, you cannot wear your own clothes, uh, which was, uh, very interesting. Another interesting thing is, uh, they have these, like, relaxation rooms and people are sleeping in them. So even if you don't pay for the capsule, 
uh, you can pay for the spa and then just sleep in one of these communal rooms, which I mean, I guess that's pretty cool. <laughs> um, is there anything else that was uh, unusual? Let's see, so all your luggage is safe in the locker. You have to wear these clothes. Um, yeah, no, well, maybe that's about it, but all, all in all, uh, this is a pretty, pretty sweet place. I think I only paid 5,500 yen for it. And I got a complimentary breakfast, which was fantastic. Uh, the hot spring is wonderful, great sauna, um, and a lovely room. So if I come back to Kobe, I will definitely uh, be staying here again. Uh, this place is awesome. Well, I think I'm about to check out. Even though it's only 10, I still have two hours, 12. Uh, check out, 12 in the afternoon. That is uh, pretty amazing. Um, all right. Well, uh, yay to Capsule Hotels.